our viewers at home and afar. We welcome you all here today to this very special day, this very special showcase day of our Tier 3 Shepherd Talks on the topic of grits. Yes, and we are live right now in Core 1 ELA. Everyone turn a wave to the camera here. We can say hello. Aww. We have some great presentations for you today on various individuals who have grit. We're really excited. Students are going to be giving feedback to one another as well. Um, and it's going to be a fantastic day. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be, a, you know, nothing beats starting off a day just talking about examples of how to be awesome and push, pushing through your tough days and persevering. So, uh, without further ado, our first presentation, Sophie Stordahl. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> to the place that you're going, even if it makes you late. People recover from injuries in a fair amount of time with physical therapy. But what if you were brought to court for trying to vote in a presidential election? This happened to Susan B. Anthony. And what if you were dyslexic and got bullied for it every day, and even though you couldn't help it? This happened to Ali from, from the novel Fish in a Tree. Susan B. Anthony was an 18th century feminist. Sorry. Both these ladies have a lot of grit. Susan B. Anthony is an 18th century feminist, which was very rare because at the time the world was ruled by men. At the, at the young age of only four, she was faced with sexism for the first time by, by not, her male math teacher not allowing her to learn proper long division. To clarify, Susan was born into a family who thought men and women were equal, and that's how she thought it was. But the rest of the world thought otherwise. Years later, in 1872, Susan was brought to court because she attempted to vote in a because she attempted to vote in a presidential election. At her own trial, she wasn't even allowed to speak. At the end, she was charged with hundred dollars, which she never paid. But besides that, she continued to get to but she continued to try and get women's rights into the law. Grit was used all throughout Susan's life, even if she had challenges that she had to overcome. At the end, she was rewarded with a $1 coin and because of all her hard work. Determination was used for the good of the world, was used here in many ways. Ally from the novel Fish in a Tree is an, an, an amazing example of dyslexia, as she ha had horrible experiences with it at school. For not being able to read and write, she was bullied every day, and yet she still came and tried her hardest. When her new teacher, Mr. Daniels, helped her learn how to read and read and write, she, le she learned how to ask for help, make friends, and stand up for herself which led her to success. Perseverance was a key part in the book. People with grit don't believe that failure is a permanent condition. This quote by Angela Lee Duckworth is something that you could and should live by because it is completely true. When people say, when life gives you lemons, most people think the end of the phrase is make lemonade, but what if you wanted to do something different? Be creative and solve challenges in your own ways. It doesn't always have to be the same as everyone else. Be creative and have grit. Thank you. Give me this room on class one, two, three. All right, Sophie, I'll come help you. Let's give feedback to Sophie on our Google form. Excellent way to start our 
Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish up that feedback. Thank you so much for your thoroughness. And visually, we'll know when you're done when you close your Chromebooks. And let's put our hands together for Rachel Scher. Some of you may know that the definition of grit is courage and resolve, strength of a character. Rachel and Julia. Hold this way. Some of you may know that the de definition of grit is courage and resolve, strength of a character. William Neepy once said, life is like snowboarding. You must get up every time you fall. Once you stop falling, you begin to enjoy it. If you stay down, you will never see why people love it so much. Grit influences success, success by having determination, acceptance, and having courage. Amy Purdy and Allie Dickerson both achieved grit. Amy Purdy went through a life-threatening trauma. This is her in a hospital bed. This is when she had to lose her life. Since Amy was 15 years old, she has always loved to snowboard. At age 19, Amy was diagnosed with meningitis and was rushed to the hospital and given a 2% chance of survival. She eventually found out that she had to amputate her legs below the knees. Allie Nickerson went through dyslexia. This is a slide of what it sometimes looks like to have dyslexia. It's pretty difficult to get the hang of it. Allie has struggled with dyslexia her whole life. For as long as she could remember, she was getting told she was not good enough or a failure. Both of these strong, independent females achieved grit because of their challenges. First off, to achieve grit, you need to have courage. This was clearly shown in Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullally Hunt. Allie had dyslexia, but she did not want to tell anyone about it. Allie showed grit by telling Mr. Daniel she had dyslexia. That was scary for Allie. She showed courage because she told Mr. Daniel she couldn't read. She finally opened up and stopped hiding. This courage from Allie leads to success because Allie could get help from someone and get better at reading. Later in life, she won't struggle with reading like she does now. To continue, being determined is another way to achieve grit. Um, so this is a video we're going to watch. Myself on a podium, I visualize myself wearing my country's colors and I just thought if it ever were a part of the Paralympic Games, that I would be there, absolutely. I started a nonprofit organization in 2005 called Adaptive Action Sports, and our goal was to help grow the sport of adaptive snowboarding and also to help get it into the Paralympic Games. Honestly, I think what inspires me is helping other people. A lot of these wounded vets that are coming back, they really inspire me to just continue our programs and continue putting things in place so that they have a place to go. I know a lot of my challenges don't have anything to do with my legs. It has to do completely with my thoughts or my head. It just makes me realize that, you know, anything's possible. You have to just not give up and continue to follow your dreams and have this goal and this vision and anything's possible. And I When Amy Purdy lost her life, she wanted to accomplish three things in life. One, she knew for the rest of her life, she was always going to help people like her. It shows on the video that she's part of an organization to help people learn to snowboard. Two, she was always going to try and continue to walk, snowboard, and go on adventures. As you can see on this video, she continued to snowboard. Three, she was never going to let anyone take her down. Even after Amy lost her life, she still went through life-threatening surgeries. Amy had to save her artery two years ago to the day Amy originally lost her life. Amy says, in fact, I've never shared my journey for sympathy. If anything, I've chosen to share to contribute to empathy. This shows that Amy doesn't want people to feel bad for her. She's determined to make a difference. After she found out she was going to lose her life, get another surgery, she was still determined to make a difference and help people like her. Finally, another way to show grit is through acceptance of something difficult. Allie and Amy were both accepting. When Allie was struggling to read, she accepted that she needed help. Allie accepted that she was not like others and struggled, and she struggled to read. She accepted that she needed help and was willing to do whatever it takes. Amy was also willing to do whatever it takes. When she learned she was losing her legs, she accepted that life would be different with prosthetic legs. Raise your hand if you play a sport and had to stop playing because of an injury. Yeah, me too. As you saw from the video before, Amy is a top-ranked Paralympic snowboarder in the world. Amy let nothing stop her. At one point through Amy's journey, she says, I realized I had to let go of the old Amy and embrace the new Amy. 
Amy accepted that her life was going to be unique and different, but still achieved so much in her life. Now, this is Amy Purdy today with her husband, Daniel Gill, and her dog, Huckleberry G. Cute, right? Do any of you know the show Dancing with the Stars? Well, Amy Purdy participated in that show with Derek Peter. This is Amy and Derek dancing. To conclude, grit influences success by having determination, acceptance, and having courage. Remember, Allie and Amy both achieved grit by having determination, acceptance, and having courage, which means you can too. Just remember to hop on that snowboard and never give up on your ride. feedback for that excellent presentation. audience members for continuing to be excellent, uh, paying attention and giving strong feedback via our feedback form. When you're done with your feedback, you can show us you're done by closing your Chromebooks up. All right, and let's close those final Chromebooks up for our next speaker. And without further ado, let's give a big round of applause for Carly. Another yet equally important key 
for his determination. He shows the turtle. Ray Charles shows the termination because he got tricked into running into a pool. But that didn't stop him from using the termination. In the text, the author states, Today the little barefoot boy is a man. He is famous. People don't call him Foots, they call him Ray Charles. The whole world knows him. He's a great musician. Now nobody would dare trick him into hitting an iron post. This quote shows great because Ray Charles didn't let a group of blind kids he used to know bully him and take away his determination. This quote also shows good because the quote says they call him Ray Charles. The whole world knows him. He's a great musician. That means he didn't let other kids he used to know take away his determination and determine his future. Instead, he determined his own future, no matter what a bunch of kids used to say. Another example for using determination is Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton had determination. He had determination because he grew up poor, but that didn't stop it. In the text of the the minister was so impressed with Alexander's letter that it should be published in the newspaper. This quote shows great because Alexander didn't let anybody from Ireland stop him and tell him he wouldn't make it. This quote also shows great determination because it says that the minister was very impressed with Alexander's letter. This shows great though because he has great success on his island and he was determined he didn't let anybody stop him from achieving his goals. Anybody can use determination to succeed. Furthermore, the final key to using grit is having hope. Alexander Hamilton had hope. He had hope when he was trying to win the Revolutionary War. In the text, it states, Alexander snatched up his sword and led his men into battle as they stormed over the dirt. This quote shows hope because he didn't let other people say that the British would win. Instead, Alexander powered through the tough times and fought his hardest. He had hope knowing that eventually he would win. And eventually, they did win. Finally, Jessica's teammates from the running dream have hope. They have hope because Jessica lost her legs. They have hope in the text when it says, help Jessica run campaign. Every runner volunteered for at least one of four committees. Bake sale, raffle, car wash, and community donations. He takes a deep breath. Our goal is to buy you a red glove. This shows hope because they aren't giving up on helping Jessica run again. They are doing all of these things because they know how much running means to Jessica. They are giving her hope about running again, and eventually she gets her running leg, and she runs with her friend. If you have hope, you have grit. In conclusion, inner strength is something that everybody already has. Mental toughness is one of the keys to using grit. Jessica from the running dream uses mental toughness to take a shower for the first time. Ray Charles and Alexander Hamilton use determination to succeed. Finally, Alexander Hamilton and Jessica from the running dream have hope to get past the difficult times. If you use the three keys to get, you will succeed. Right. Yes. 
All right, audience, as we prepare for our speech, we're going to close our Chromebooks up. You've done an excellent job so far. We are moments away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your attentions and your awesome respect. I give you now Izzy Manis, talking about somebody that many of you probably know a little bit about, right? Failure is an important part of your growth, development, resilience. Don't be afraid to fail. How you get over a physical or mental mountain is grit. Grit? Is the thing inside you that tells you to accept, adapt, and never give up on the life for you. Michelle Obama and Allie Anderson will share something. They share that they had a fight for her happiness and dreams by using grit. Allie, who was diagnosed with dyslexia after struggling to read, reading was her dream, and she was able to succeed her dream by using grit. And Michelle, similar. She had she was poor as a child, and she was bullied for it. She didn't know she was going to be able to go to college to, to succeed. And this is what stuff looked like for Allie. Like, you might be able to read that, but I don't know if you could read a whole book like that. But in the end, Allie was able to. And Michelle, she went to school every day knowing that she was going to get bullied. And she worked her butt off and gained money to go to college. And every day, it was really just working, no money, and she just got made fun of. And if you have grit, you have to be able to accept. Accept what's in your way from succeeding. It's simply just like acknowledging that it's true and doing something about it. Allie, she accepted her learning differences. She drawed her finger through the gooey cream, thinking of the word learning differences. And she thought of it, and look where she is now. And Michelle Obama, she accepted that she, she's not gonna be able to do it all alone. She worked to succeed by accepting. So she, so simply, you just have instead of her being mad about it, she put an effort by adapting. You have to be able to adapt to succeed and accept. Same with Allie. Allie adapted to getting help. She let Mr. Daniel help her by accepting and adapting to that help. And now she can read. She can read a whole book. So you have to be able to adapt to what's in your way. And then, like, in the end, you just can never give up. And you have to climb a mountain using grit. So never give up on your dream. Michelle Obama, she never gave up. And now she's one of the most powerful ladies in the whole world because she never gave up. Allie, if she gave up, she wouldn't have been able to read. She would never have been able to read a book if she didn't give up. So you never want to give up. Michelle never gave up, and neither did Allie. So, to have grit, you have to be able to accept, adapt, and never give up. And Michelle Obama, she 
After she earned the money, she went to Harvard and Princeton College for four years each to become a lawyer. She paid for that all by herself, by working. And she met Barack Obama, our former president, and together they created a family. Now they have two kids. And then they, he got elected for president, which he wouldn't have been able to do without Michelle. Michelle wouldn't have been able to do it without using Chris. So in the end, you have to climb the mountain, just like Michelle and Allie did, to success by using grit. Four excellent speeches so far. We have two to go this class period. Very nicely done. said by Winston Churchill. Good morning. My name is Declan Johnstone. I'm a sixth grader here at Shepherd Middle School. I'm thinking of a word. It is a short word, but a strong word. It has a deeper meaning than one may think. It influences success in more ways than you imagine. The word is grit. If you have grit, you can get anywhere in life. You just have to believe. An individual can show grit by overcoming tough situations, not settling, and having courage. Allie is a girl who struggled with dyslexia, and she was bullied for many, many years. Winston Churchill is arguably the most influential figure in the 20th century. He showed grit by pushing through a tough situation and adapting to the challenges he faced. Winston Churchill is a general leader and prime minister of Great Britain. At first, it doesn't seem like these two individuals would connect, but they do. They both had a form of dyslexia, which is a disability that impairs your reading. Secondly, they both show grit to succeed. Primarily, overcoming a tough situation is not something that comes easily. One man who did this was Winston Churchill. He was British Prime Minister from 1940 to 1945. Winston Churchill was Prime Minister during World War II speeches during the war. He helped boost Britain's spirits and their economy. He talked to Franklin D. Roosevelt about how the United States should contribute to the war effort. In the book, Who is Winston Churchill by Ellen LeBrecht, it says, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. This quote means that Winston Churchill will do everything in his power to help Great Britain get back together with their military forces and their economy. He will stop at nothing to do this. This was also shown in the text Fish in a Tree by Linda Maloney Hunt. In the text it states, coming to school every day, knowing what you're in for, knowing school will be hard and that other kids are going to rise, but you still come every day deciding that you're going to try again. 
This proves that Allie had pushed through a tough situation and is still doing so with disability. Keep in mind, Allie has dyslexia. Secondly, an individual can show grit by not settling for something smaller than what they know they can achieve. Winston Churchill was attempting to get into Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, but he only had three chances to complete the entrance exam, and he had already failed it twice. For the exam, he had to know everything about UK involved countries. Figuring that he only had enough time to study one country, he put all the countries in a top hat and chose one, New Zealand. This was a huge risk because if he didn't pass the exam and get into the academy, he would not excel in what he wanted to do, which was to serve in the military and then become a journalist. On the day of the exam, um, so he studied everything about New Zealand. Schools, agriculture, streets, libraries, parks, even tram lines. On the day of the exam, the teacher wrote one country and one country only on the blackboard. And you bet your bottom dollar it was New Zealand. <laughs> Churchill passed the exam, and this is what secured him the spot at Royal Military Academy Sanders. According to history.com, it says, as a student, Churchill performed poorly in virtually every subject except history and English composition. He was particularly inept at foreign languages. In a memoir, he described taking a two-hour long lab test. He left completely blank except for his name and the number of the first question, along with a blot and several smudges. With the help of a military tutor, he finally qualified the third time around, but only for the cavalry class, which had lower standards than the infantry. This means that Winston Churchill may not have gotten to that school, and then there was no Winston Churchill that helped win the war against the Nazis. But he had the grip to keep going, and look where he ended up. Finally, an individual can show grit by having courage. This can be as simple as asking a question, or something bigger, like standing up to a bully. Albert is a quiet kid, but when he talks, he sounds like a literal genius. He has an, he's an incredibly observant person, and he has a lot of great quips. Um, in the book Fish in a Tree by Linda Maloney Hunt, it says, Albert and his friends get ganged up on again, and Albert, the quiet one, shuts them up. In the text it states, the first boy stands up. You want to fight for him? I'll fight you. The, first, the boy charges Albert and hits him in the stomach. The kid, he hits the kid one time, and the kid goes down. Through his moans, he tells his friend to get up and fight, to get Albert for him. The second boy sits up when he's thinking about it. Albert's feet are far apart. Do you think you want to do that? He's a shy kid that just stood up to a group of bullies at full force to save his friends. Albert can have such a big heart, and everyone can. They just have to find it. If you have grit, you can do wherever you want to in life. You just have to believe. An individual can once again show grit by overcoming tough situations, not settling, and having courage. Remember, life is like a last second job. You have to take it even though you may be scared. You can't fake it, you have to let it fly through the air. Shoot your shot. Thank you. You're giving feedback for Declan and the chair for giving feedback for Andrew, who will be our last today in this class period. We've all been an excellent audience. Please keep it up.
second. Close those Chromebooks when we're ready. And then, without further ado, our final speech today, let's give a round of applause for Andrew. Grit by Andrew Cohen. What is grit? Grit is having self-esteem and not listening to the negative opinions you hear. Grit is persevering through your challenges no matter how hard they get. Allie Nickerson from Fish in a Tree has struggled through her challenge of dyslexia and J.K. Rowling, an author, kept on sending her book to a literary agent after a literary agent until one decided to work with her. Allie Nickerson from Fish in a Tree has dyslexia. Dyslexia, this is an example of dyslexia. We may see the word was as was, but if you have dyslexia, it may look like that. Dyslexia is when letters seem to move around a page or look backwards. This is really hard for Allie. She gets made fun of this for every day, but even though that this is a struggle for her. She perseveres through it. Her current substitute teacher, Mr. Daniels, makes her realize all the grit she has. He says to Allie, coming to school every day, knowing what you're in for, knowing that school will be hard and that other kids are going to harass you, yet you still come every day and decide, and decide that you're going to try again. This shows that Allie has grit and she keeps trying no matter how hard things get for her. Secondly, I have been doing some research on an author, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling wasn't always the person she is today. She wasn't always known as the author who sold over, five, oh, who sold over 500 million copies of her book series. She used to face very tough challenges. She was once a poor single mother, and it is terrible that some days she only had enough money to feed her baby. And who is J.K. Rowling? It said, J.K. sent the first three chapters of her book to an agent. If the agent liked the first three chapters, she would send the rest of the manuscript. But it took her to send the, the first three chapters 12 times to different agents until one decided to work with her. Through her multiple times of rejections, she thought if she should give up, but she couldn't imagine giving up. With all the hard work she spent planning out her novel and designing characters, she knew the cost of it was not worth of giving up. So she kept on sending her manuscript until an agent decided to work with her. And I think that if, as long as you have grit, you will end up successful. And for JK, it, in, her, in JK's success was the letter from the agent saying they wanted to work with her book, a, a, a whole published series of books, and she was lucky enough to get a $1 billion out of it. Now, I would like to share a story that is a little similar to JK's. I've always had a tremendous passion for writing. In May 2021, I finished writing a book. And I always had wanted to get a book published, but I had, but I never thought my book was good quality enough for publishing. And now, before I begin the story, I would like you to raise your hand if you have ever tried something in the first time and it, and it failed. All right, so that seems like a lot of you. Well, that was similar to me with my writing. So when I finished editing the whole book four times, and, I went, and that was in July 2021, then I decided to send my book to the first, to my, the first publishing house. And they, they haven't responded, and it's been over half a year. But I knew I had to keep going. I don't even know why. I was very excited, but then I came to the conclusion that they weren't going to respond. But I knew I had to keep going. So when I found out that this lady who was a member of this tennis club I went to was a literary agent, I asked her, would you be interested in reviewing my manuscript or hearing about it? She scoffed and walked away. She seemed almost appalled that an 11 year old had the audacity to expect their book to be published. And frankly, I'll admit, I'm on the shorter height of kids my age, so she might have thought I was younger than 11. But I wasn't gonna let some simple-minded ageist person stop me from my dream. So I kept going. I sent my, the first chapter of my book to another publishing house, and they only responded within a day reje rejecting my book. But I had to keep going. So when I sent what, a summary of my book to an agent, they responded within a few days, saying they were interested in reviewing my manuscript and for publication consideration. And, I was so, and that was very exciting for me. And I'm hoping that he ends up liking the book and it will be successful. But I believe that, having, that grit 
is having confidence, ignoring the negative, and having determination. And to sum up everything I've stated, I think that life is like a bow and arrow. Life keeps pulling you back with challenges, and one day you will launch and do something great. So keep aiming. Thank you. very hard throughout this unit, particularly today with a larger audience that we're viewing. Again, we are so proud of each and every one of you. Um, and we, again, congratulate all of you that had the grit to show up today to stand up here and show us what you got. So, signing off for Core 1 for today. Everybody Go say goodbye. Wave. So long, world. Yeah.